she explained that what cats would be to babies, yes, they stick to keep under the bed during the night. The stick belongs to the beautiful girl. Two inches during the night at breakfast, we will compare the sticks up, and the longest stick will by be the thief. The next morning, the judge had all the guests come by his table and he told, told their sticks. Up next, up next to all oh, different. Up next, you here to see if they had grown, but one after all, they were all the same. None of them had grown any longer than something the judge called Jesse's defeat. Her sick is worse than all the rest. Once taught, the woman confessed, and the ring was returned. All the agrees were confused about the sake of truth. The judge has said the longest sake will be the beast, but said that the, the short sake. Why? You can see it. Now your turn, Susan, to the case of the Everwear Pink. According to his own story, Buds chased Charlie out of the house. Furthermore, he did not go upstairs to his room where the cabinet was until he bought that officer Carson Charlie and Wikipedia, yet he knew how the cabinet had been opened. He could not have known whether the lock had been forced or the glass door broken or the hinges removed unless he had been the thief himself. When Wikipedia pointed out his mistake, Buds confessed he had tried to make it like as if Charlie were as if Charlie were the thief. In order to get Charles Charlie to collect some the Tigger leader admitted he had been there before he had lured Charlie to the telephone booth with the officer mm -hmm. of stealing hinges busy there. He had wanted Charlie to tell a story and unbelievable that Officer Carson would think Charlie was guilty. Yes, sir. Okay, this is true. No one else is there for magical. The only one to wear a to clean up. The thief had cut off two inches of her stick that time in an effort to hide his girl. But since this is for not magical, her stick ended up with the only short one. Here it goes. Ready, Miss Ring. Now that you turn to be mystery writers, start with the crime, decide what happened, who did it, and why. Then think of other suspects. Now create a detective character, figure out how the detective will solve. Finally, write a whole story. Be sure to focus on solving the crime. I remember the sticks of truth telling me anything taking about the sticks. Talking about, about, the, about the sticks. I remember the magic. The magic is... Uh, the, I remember birds were putting sticks like a tree, and I can build snowman so, so making sticks with your hands. Like this, the magic story. Okay. This one? Okay, come on, I'm very, very late. That's it. It's Ross Midnight. The minute it was midnight, right at football forward the tired old heart. Tomas was tired too. Hot and tired, he missed his own bed and his own house in Texas. Tomas was on his way to Iowa again with his family. His mother and father were farm workers. They picked fruit and vegetables for Texas farmers in winter and for Iowa farmers in December. Year after year, they bumped up the they are long in the rusty old car. Mama was with Thomas, but has a glass of cold water, I drink it in the dark house. I was shocked that I would pour that stuff off water on my face. Oh, your turn. Thomas was glad when the car finally stopped. He helped his grandfather, Papa Grande. Grande. Calm down, climb down, Thomas said. Buenos noches. Good night. Good night to Papa, Mama, Papa Grande, and to his little brother Enrique. He curled up on the cot in the small house that his family <laughs> his family shared with the other workers. Early the next morning, Mama and Papa went out to pick corn in the green field. All day they worked in the hot sun. Tomas and Enrique carried water to them. Then the boys played with the ball. Mama had thrown for them on their old teddy bear. Yeah, I remember. Say bye bye. Oh yeah, they took him. <laughs> yeah, that's a bad idea. Now, when they go far, they sat under a tree with Papa Grande. So that's the story about the pan in the forest that Thomas 
Thomas likes to listen to Papa Grande and tell stories in Spanish. Papa Grande was the best hotel in the family. And on Temple Pisado, Papa Grande began. Once upon a time, on a winter night, a man was riding a horse through a forest. The wind was howling, ooh, and the wind was blowing, which was hot. And all of a sudden, Temple grabbed the man, he couldn't move. He was too scared to, to look around. Oh my god, what's right away? But couldn't. I was the power of the wind. Ooh, how the leaves blew. How his teeth chattered. Finally, the sun came up. Slowly, the man turned around. And who do you think was holding me? Tomas smiled and said, A 43! Papa grunted that. Tomas? No, I'm not to say. There are many more in the library. You are big enough to go by yourself. Now you can teach us your stories. The next morning, Tomas walked that time. He looked at the big library. It's Thomas. We saw his work second hand. Tomas walked his right and walked the big building. He saw Scrooge coming out carrying books. Slow! He started climbing up, up the steps. He counted them himself in Spanish. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. His mouth full, felt full of cotton. Now your turn to read. Tomas stood in front of the library doors. He pressed his nose against the glass and peeked in. The library was huge and had tapped his shoulder. Thomas jumped. A tall lady looked down at him. It's hot. It's a hot day, she said. Come inside and have a drink of water. What's your name, she asked. Thomas, he said. Come, Thomas, she said. Inside it was cool. Thomas had never seen so many books. The lady watched him. Come, she said again, leading him to drinking the, to a drinking fountain. Okay. First, some water. Then I'll bring the table for you. What would I like to read about? I guess that's just as Moss. Thomas tried to go out. He like at the tossy. He like at the, 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 the books around the room. He watched the lady take some books from South America to the table. This chair is for you, Tomas. She said, Tomas sat down and then very carefully he took like, perform the pirate and opened it. Why did his mom get sad? Because uh, of uh, getting hot and tired. No, his mom. Uh, his mom gets sad because uh, of Andy Monte Collars. Oh. Okay. Thomas saw dinosaurs bending their long necks to lap shiny oh, water. Yeah. He heard the cries of a wild snake bird. He felt mm -mm. the warm neck of the dinosaur mm -mm. as he held on tight for a ride. Mm -mm. Thomas forgot about no, the I'm as an angel. He forgot about no, I'm as an angel. Thomas Thomas said the library lady softly. Thomas looked around the library. The library was empty. The sun was setting. The library lady looked at Thomas for a long time. She said, Thomas, would you like to borrow two library books? I would check them out in my name. Thomas walked out of the library carrying his books. He ran home eagerly to show his new stories to his family. Okay, here it goes. Papa Grande looked at the library books. Freak to me, he said to Tomas. First, Tomas showed him the pictures. He pointed to the tiger. Quee, tiger, tiger, grand. Tomas said first in Spanish and then in English. What the big tiger? Freak to me in English, said Papa Grande. Tomas read about tiger's eyes, shining bloody in the jungle at night. He rode the rocks like a huge tiger. Papa and Mama and Rocky left. They came and sat near him to hear his story. Someday, Tomas went with his friends to town with them. They looked for a piece of iron to, to sell, and they could look for toys. Tomas looked for books. He would put the books in the sun to make away the smell. No all summer, whenever he could, Tomas went to the library. The library they would say, first a drink of water, and then some new books, Tomas. On quiet days, the library they said, come to my dad's and read to me tomorrow. Then he would then to say, please teach me some new words in Spanish. Tomas was mine. He liked me the teacher. The library lady pointed to a book. Book is liberal, says Tomas. Liberal, said the library lady. Your turn. Pajaro, said Thomas, flapping his arms. The library lady laughed. Bird, she said. Oh, on days when the library was busy, Thomas read to himself. He looked at the pictures for a long time. He smelled the smoke at the Indian camp. He rode back. He rode a black horse across a hot desert, dusty, dusty desert. And in the evening, he would read the stories, Mama, Papa, Papa Grande, and Enrique. One August afternoon, Thomas brought Papa Grande 
to the library, the library lady said, Buenos, oh, yeah, okay. Buenas tardes, Senor Thomas. Smiled, he had taught the library lady how to say, Good afternoon, sir, in Spanish. Okay, Buenas tardes, Senor, Papa Gregor, Okay, next thing. Softly, Thomas said, I have to watch it to softly. Bomb numbers. The work is ideal. Let me come Oh, that's fine. Tomas was going back to Texas. He would miss this quieter place. The cold water. The red the man boat. He was Mr. The very lady. My mother said this to thank you, said to mom. And her small packets. This is Pandora. Sweet bread. Alright, we right, the, the best Pandora in Texas. The library lady says, how nice. How oh, very nice. That's just Thomas. Thank you. She gave Thomas a big hug. Now, it's your turn. That night, bumping along again in in the tired old car, Thomas held a shiny new book and present from the library lady. Papa Grande smiled and said, more stories for the new storyteller. Tomas closed his eyes. He saw the dinosaurs drinking cool water long ago. He heard the cry of the wild snake bird. He felt the warm neck of the dinosaur as he held on tight for a bumpy ride. Okay, are you ready to answer the questions? Yeah, very yeah. <laughs> good. <laughs> uh, how do you think Tomorrow's face when he first sees that bird? Give some from the store in his Twitter or our opinion. Tomas Felt tired. How do you think Tomas feels when he first? Yep, he's tired, right? Yeah. And misses home. Yeah. Good boy, bye. Before Tomas meets that very lady, his grandfather is a family toy town. Why does it change after tomorrow starts visiting the library? Because he gets bugs, remember? He has bugs. Bugs? Bugs. Yes, yes, yes. How would you describe the library lady? What kind of person is she? How would you describe the library? She is tall. She's a very nice lady, right? Because yeah. she lends um, Tomas the bugs. Yeah, yes. Okay. What do you think Thomas enjoys most about reading books? Tell about your favorite book and you're enjoying most about it. Uh, um, yeah, reading tigers and dinosaurs. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Why does he get so sad when he sees Woody? When he sees Woody, he, I remember waving bye bye. And I remember Andy, he will say thanks guys. So Andy will feel sad because I'm missing Bonnie. 